Hi everyone, thanks for joining me. Today I've got a short video for you and I want to talk about a rigging system for rigging wacky rigged worms. And this is the VMC crossover system and I call it a system because it comes with a, a new style of um, uh, ring and it also comes with a tool to assist in getting the ring on. And I'll tell you, I, I might be a little late to the party here. Uh, the system's been out for about a year. Uh, I thought it might have been a little bit of, of a gimmick when I first saw it, but man, I, I heard so many positive things about, about this system and the tool and, and the rings themselves that I decided I had to buy it. I've been using it for about four months and I have been impressed with this system. I've used every type of O-ring and wacky saddle and so on and so forth that's come down the pipe for the last 20 years. And for me, this is the best way to go. I love this system. So what I'll do is I'll tell you why I like it so much and I'll show you how to use the tool and rig it up and uh, then I'll turn it over to you. You can go out and buy some or you don't have to buy them. I'm not selling them, but I think if you get these things, you're, you're going to really like it. Okay, let's start off with these um, wacky saddles that um, uh, VMC came up with. They, number one, come in about five or six sizes. So you can customize the size of the saddle to the hook or to the worm that you're using. So in a situation where you may have a five inch uh, Cinco, uh, and this has a green saddle on, on this one. It has an eight millimeter saddle. If I was going to use a thinner, more finesse worm, I'd drop down to a five mil saddle or so on and so forth. So you'll have a custom fit saddle for each worm that you use. Why is this important? Because the worm, um, if you uh, are familiar with a lot of the old style O-ring styles, a lot of times you can cast a, a worm off, you lose the worm. 10 inch fish and he's shaking his head on the surface, the worm flies off the O-ring. So with this, it just holds the worm in place and it, it, uh, it's going to save you money and it's going to save you a lot of fr frustration. The worms don't slip down the saddle. They come in black, uh, green pumpkin, and, and clear. And the crossover design comes from this little nub up here. It's got a channel going this way for your hook and it's also got a hook channel going this way. Now I've got one rigged up here and this is rigged up with the hook in line. If I don't like that and I want to rig it crossways, all I have to do is pull the hook out and it's got another channel in it and I pull it on and it doesn't matter what hook you use uh, uh, or what setup you're using, but you can take that and rig it any way that you like. talk about another thing that I like on these saddles and you'll see that they the band on them they're nice and thick you see that on a standard um, o-ring it's very thin so when you put this around a worm and you have the hook in it and you pull through you can cut worms in half real easy with this nice thick band it doesn't damage the worms as much. So just an absolute great way, uh, great idea by VMC to make this band. I know there's been a few other guys that have bands out, but they don't have this crossover, uh, this crossover hook holder in them. Let me show you how, how I rig these. I, I'll, I'll use a five inch Cinco and I'll use a eight mil, um, an eight mil band. So the first thing you're going to do is just put the band on the tool and you'll see that this opens up. I'll do it kind of backwards. So you'll, you'll open it up, put your worm through the little opening there, and I can open this up now and just pull the worm through and slide the band off and you've got it all set up. And it's as simple as that. This thing's not gonna pull off. It's not gonna destroy the worms. The thing that I really, really like about this tool is it has in each handle it has a compartment and you can take that compartment open it up and you see that you have room for several saddles it has one on each side of the handle so you can have different colors or different sizes all in all i think it's a great product you guys give it a try let me know what you think of it i think if uh 
If you buy these, you're going to like them. It's going to save you a lot of time and frustration on the water and a lot of money. So thanks a lot, guys, for watching. And uh, you know you're watching In Deep on the Delta. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Hit the like button if you like this video. And we'll continue doing lots of short videos like this to just uh, provide information to the bass fishing community. So until next time, we'll see you guys on the water. Good luck.